Hi, I'm Jeff Murrow. I want to welcome you to True Texas History. Today I'm going to be talking about Texas inventors. Uh, now this is, uh, I wish I could say that uh, this was a topic that I came up with on my own, but not, that's not the case. Uh, we will be talking about people that came up with some creative ideas and ideas on their own, though. Uh, no, when my first book was published by uh, Aiken Press, after a little while, um, Aiken Press was taken over, and the lady in charge, uh, you know, I was talking to her about my Texas history book, and uh, she was very interested in me including material on Texas inventors. Apparently, uh, within the schools and educational studies, what they want, you know, they want the kids to know about Texas inventors. So I figured, okay, I'll go ahead and do something on Texas Inventors, you know, as uh, we've got a long list of them. There's no way I can cover all of them, but uh, some of the ones uh, that I share with you today, I think you'll be surprised. You know, one of the earliest inventors uh, in Texas was Gail Borden. Uh, now, Gail Borden, uh, you know, if you've come across, you know, Borden's condensed milk, uh, that's him. And this was a big breakthrough, you know. I mean, nowadays we look at condensed milk as no big deal, but uh, at the time that uh, it came out, it, it was a game changer because now milk had uh, a good shelf life. It was no longer something that uh, had to be consumed within a short period of time. Um, now we're also home to such uh, other food products, you know, besides the condensed milk as uh, Dr. Pepper, which most, most of you probably know, Fritos, the hamburger, which was invented in Athens, Texas, the corn dog, and chili powder from San Antonio. Um, there was also, you know, a Texas woman who came up with uh, correction fluid, otherwise known as whiteout. Um, and the woman who did that was Bessie Nesmith. You go, hmm, Nesmith, Nesmith. That, that, that name sounds familiar. Well, it should. Uh, it, at least to, to folks in my generation, you know, you, you hear the word Nesmith and uh, you immediately know, uh, hey, wasn't he one of uh, the monkeys, old Mike Nesmith? Yes. And by the way, old Mike Nesmith. Uh, you know, he had an inventor mom, and uh, he went on um, to be a mover and shaker behind MTV. Gee, you know, talk about uh, shaping culture. I mean, how, how much of our culture has been shaped uh, by MTV? There was a Texan behind it. Uh, now, another Texan who influenced popular culture was none other than Gene Roddenberry. He was uh, the one who uh, came up with Star Trek. You know, he, uh, that, was, that was his baby. And uh, that has definitely influenced culture. Now, when I go through the Texas inventors, I'm trying to stay with those that invented something or... Uh, influence culture to some degree as uh, because I have separate uh, sections on uh, Texas writers, uh, Texas painters, you know, artists and art movements, things such as that, because those are also important because here in Texas we have uh, a, a unique culture and I think it needs to be celebrated. Um, of course, one of my favorite, Tex Avery. Uh, he was a famous cartoonist. You say, gee, uh, what did he do? Uh, his creativity was adding the line, what's up, Doc, uh, to Bugs Bunny, which, you know, we always associate that with Bugs Bunny, but that was Tex Avery's baby. And Tex Avery came up with a lot of wonderful cartoons. I've talked about him once before. Um, and then in terms of medical inventions, you have... Uh, you know, here in Texas, we had uh, doctors Michael DeBakey and Denton Cooley. Uh, and for a while there, they worked together. And then there was uh, some competition from them uh, because uh, Cooley implanted the first artificial heart. And then Michael DeBakey, one of his inventions was the Mob let's see, Mobile Army Surgical Hospital. In other words, you know, MASH. Uh, now, I don't recall that in the series MASH that they ever mentioned that it was a Texas invention, 
uh, that uh, the show was about. Nah. Now, uh, DeBakey and Cooley were also movers and shakers in terms of interactive telemedicine. I think that that's still going to be uh, a hot field in the future. Uh, some other Texas inventions. Uh, we had the microchip. Uh, automated traffic lights. Artificial hearts. Heart and lung machines. Yeah, that was another... Uh, one done by uh, Cooley, electric typewriters, uh, typewriter correction fluid. Uh, and now when you get into the field of technology, we had people like Michael Dell, uh, who, you know, along with Compaq and Texas Instruments, also make their home in Texas. You know, the, the first microchip was initially developed in Texas by a fellow by the name of Jack Kilby. Um, and even though many innovations take place in Silicon Valley, Texas has also been a leader in technological advances. You know, if you believe the mainstream media, you think California and New York hung the moon. And they forget that many of these things would not be possible uh, was if it weren't for uh, Texas uh, inventions. Uh, yeah, the electric typewriter, which, man, that, that was a game changer. I mean, before that, you know, it was... Uh, <laughs> pretty laborious process and the electric typewriter uh if you had lived in the time before the electric typewriter you'd realize uh what a game changer it was it was invented by texan james mather um you know also in technology the dram chip which is dynamic random access memory you know dram uh was uh texan by the name of robert denard uh invented uh that uh now, another thing that very few people know about, is, you know, in terms of older technology, is that uh, San Antonio, Texas, was uh, the home for research for an experimental rocket facility during the war between the states. Uh, the Confederacy's rocket program was headquartered in San Antonio. Who'd have thought? I tell you. When you get into history, it's amazing what you learn. Um... You know, and innovation from Texans are, are what brought about paved roads and, and petroleum products to keep them running. You know, after the discovery of oil, then they're faced with, hey, what do we do with all this oil? Well, I tell you what, let's take some of the oil and put it, mix it with gravel, and then we have blacktop, and gee, we've got a road top. Um, now, a lot of the oil we discovered uh, was made possible by none other than Howard Hughes. Uh, because he discovered a uh, drill bit, you know, or came up with a drill bit that uh, made many of those oil discoveries possible. Uh, was able to break through uh, a lot of the rocks and so forth. Uh, and then Hen uh, Henry Dad Garrett installed the first car radio in 1920. Hey, where would cars be without radio? Where would the world be without Texans? Uh, car radios, automatic traffic lights, of course, you know, Howard Hughes Jr., uh, he made a lot of innovations that changed the aviation industry. Uh, then you also have Edwin Link, who came up with the flight simulator. You know, anytime you get on an airplane, most of the time the pilots have been trained on flight simulators, you know, Link flight simulators. Uh, you know, I'd hate to fly on an airplane where somebody uh, was not experienced in flying a plane, but uh, we have a Texan to thank for that. Uh, and then to, to wrap things up, uh, the front end loader by Millard Richmond. Uh, these are just some of the Texas inventors, and I wanted to give you a, a, a taste of uh, their contributions in, in many fields, uh, because we have, uh, you know, for one state, we have come up with things that uh, really have changed the way we live and improved the quality of life and um, enable us to do a lot more work than what we were able to do before. Uh, so, I mean, there's a lot of reasons to be thankful that you're from Texas. So, until next time, this is Jeff Murrah uh, wishing you well. Vaya con Dios. Goodbye. <laughs>